Welcome to the IBM Security Lab Services video series. This video is about configuring the DB2 server for the IBM Security Identity Governance 5.1.1 appliance. As reference, the viewer should be looking at the IBM Security Identity Governance 5.1.1 Knowledge Center entry for installation guide, prerequisite software configuring the DB2 server. In this video, we will be using a Red Hat 6.6 .6 Enterprise server to perform the DB2 configuration steps. Log into the DB2 server and validate that the correct version of DB2 has been installed by running DB2 level. The supported minimum version for DB2 is 10.5.0.3. This installation has actually 10.5.0.5 installed. We also want to verify the services port. We can do this using the tail command on the Etsy services file. The instance created during the install was called db2inst1 and the service port is 50,000. For this video, we will be using this system which has an IP of 9.48.172.244. We now have the required information to perform the configuration which is a DB2 server IP address or fully qualified DNS name, the instance port, we will select a database name of isicdb, the instance owner which is DB2 inst1 and the instance owner password. The next steps are to create the database using the following statements. To perform these steps, log into the system as root and then su to the instance owner ID. The first two commands require a stop and restart of the database using the db2 stop force. We are now ready to create the actual database using the db2 create command. And as mentioned before, the database we will be creating is called isicdb. Note that this database name cannot be the same name as the server host name. Once the database was created, connect to the database using the db2 connect to isicdb command. Set the logging parameters. Set the buffer pool size. Create the temporary table space. Create the user temporary table space. Stop and restart the database. Use the exit command to return to the root shell. As the root user, create a directory called isic within the temp directory and upload to this directory the file called isic 511 db2 installation all version 001.zip. Unpack this file using the unzip command. Navigate to the directory underbar underbar for DBAs. Run the following sequence of commands to enable the Unix create user script from being executed. Create the users using the script. The 
We can validate the execution by looking at the Etsy password file. The next step is to apply the schema. CD to the parent directory. CD to the DB installation directory. Edit the login.sql file. The IP address, the port, and the database name. Save the file. The SQL script is executing using the CLP plus command. Use the following syntax to execute the command and be aware that in order to run this command, a graphical user interface has to be available. The syntax for this command is to provide the instance owner, db2inst1, the instance owner password, at the host name, the port, the database instance name, and then the script name. Enter the data file path. Select a medium table space installation. The execution of the script can take some time, so continually check if any more output is generated. Continue to monitor the script execution, and once in a while you will see connection information along with the command completed successful information. Wait till the SQL script execution has completed and the SQL prompt is displayed. You may have to move the slider bar on the right side up and down to make sure that you're all the way at the bottom. Type exit to exit CPL plus. This completes the configuration of the database for ISIC 511. You can validate the configuration by connecting using any database tool. As an example, I'm using the DB Visualizer, connecting to that database server, the database port, the database instance, with the database user ID and password. You see all the tables that have now been created and populated as required.